This is Siri. Siri, what's zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. And it is also what I want to replicate for today's video. Because I want to use it offline. And to make it that much more difficult, I'm going to do it in both Rust and Python. But first, for this video, Python, aka the language of snails. Anyways, like all my projects, we first need to start off with planning the basic outline of how the app will work and its different module. So in order, the wakeword module would detect whenever a wakeword is said, in this case the word said, which is the name of the voice assistant. The app will then activate the speech text module that will convert whatever the user says into text using an AI and also stop whenever a suitable silence has been reached. The text from the speech text AI would then be sent to the chatbot to get a response of whatever the user said. The chatbot response is then sent to a text speech module to be said to the user, therefore completing the loop. So I then got started working on the Python version of the app in the false belief that Python would be adequate for my use case, which it wasn't. Anyways, for the Python versions as chatbot, I used an easy to use library called Langchain to interface between my program and another handy tool which I use for all my LLMs called Olama, which makes it easy for Mac and Linux users to download and use popular mainstream AIs like in my case, Quinn 0.5p, which was the fastest, smallest AI I could find that didn't hallucinate, as some people would call it. Next, I started working on text-to-speech generation which is relatively easy thanks to Koki's XTTS Python API. Cookie. Which, as you can see here, generates the speech data, saves it as an MP3, and plays it using sound device, and then deletes the leftover MP3 file. After the text-to-speech module, to my dismay, I started working on the recording system, which would be used by the speech-to-text module and for the Python version of the Wakeword module. So, recording for my app works by, firstly, opening an input stream using the PyAudio library. It then goes through each chunk of audio data in a loop, where it adds the chunk to a variable, calculates the RMS value, or the average loudness of the data, and checks whether it's quiet or not. And if it's been quiet for long enough, or if it's been recording for long enough, it stops the loop. Finally, after the loop, it saves the audio data as a .wav file. Once I finished the recording system, it made sense to create the speech text module, which uses the Python library and AI model Faster Whisper to open the .wav file and transcribe it, where it will receive in segments and put them together to form a full transcription that it then returns as a string. In the wakeword module, because I was dumber and clearly less experienced when I made the Python version, I slightly modified the speech-to-text module so that I could get a transcription and use rejects to check whether the user said the way could said in the sentence. Finally, here's the Python version of my voice assistant working in full action. Hey Said, Said. Who created Linux? Linux was created by Linus Torvalds in 1991. Hey Sid. What is the most used operating system? The most used operating system is Windows, which is the most widely used operating system worldwide. Hey Sid. What is your name? As an iLanguage model, I do not have a physical form or a name to call me. However, if you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask. Hey Said. What is the most used text messenger? Anyways, all the code for this project and the Rust version, which you will soon see, are currently available on my GitLab. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. 
goodbye。